Tesla said, everything is energy. We know this to be true. Everything vibrates at a cellular level. The tiniest particles that make up the multiverse all vibrate. This creates frequencies, wavelengths which translate to dimensions, planes of existence. Low vibrations exist in the lower ends of the dimensional frequency spectrum. Quantum is hard for us to get our heads round because we have been instilled with a linear 3D perspective. We see concrete, bricks and mortar as finite. Connecting to source, love vibration, inner stillness and soaring Zen flow expands our consciousness. We begin to understand that what once appeared solid and fixed, is now flimsy and transparent. The ethereal, impermanent and esoteric in turn become the foundations, solid points of reference. Mind-expanding experiences can show us that what the eye sees, the mind interprets, it can all be interpreted in quite different ways. The paranormal, the fourth dimension, and other worlds reveal themselves, triggering uncomfortable questions about the solidity of the reality we perceive. Doubt is cast on received narrative about our world. As does this ufology, aliens, contentious topics, conspiracy theories that lift the lid on a nest of snakes manipulating our reality. All of this is awakening. Each part of the process further cracks apart the finite, the perceived facts, realisms we are force-fed from birth. When we step through cosmic gateways to higher consciousness, our universe expands. We are introduced to concepts of quantum realities, matrix holographic control algorithms, a bending, oscillating reality. We experience connection to something that reaches beyond us to all living things. It all comes back to those tiny particles, the quarks and the atoms that make up our mind-body-soul being. Our body, our cells, vibrate at a frequency we dictate. We set the dial of our energetic being. If we feel fearful, we lock down our vibration to lower wavelengths, this is where the matrix exists. Relinquishing fear, releasing negativity creates space for passions, hobbies, nature and nourishment, positive vibrations. The first part of awakening is the hardest. To see through the constructed veils of economics, politics, the state, religion, and commerce. Education, culture and mainstream everything is designed to program us into submission. Deprogramming from competition, conformity, and consumerism, liberates us from matrix control. Material possessions won't fulfill us, time with our loved ones will. For those whose daily priority is survival, the game is more than rigged, it's a fix. The never-ending destructive cycle of weapons, war, money, Hatred and chaos is in part an illusion in that we enable it by buying into, or being manipulated into accepting, this state of affairs. Cracks occur in the matrix when we stop accepting the elite's narrative in our particular religion, country, or culture. When we start to rationally question rules of oppression, separation, division, and elitism. When we peer over the panopticon prison walls and see, we create our realities, we release the third dimension. We may not have the opportunity or the privilege to go offline altogether, to move off-grid, untraceable, fed from the land, clean living. For most of us the day-to-day -day grind of our daily lives demands we march to the beat of the matrix drum. How do we change this? How do we take back control of our own lives? How do we set the dial on our frequency? manage and control our own energetic well-being, shedding our matrix avatar. We don't have to leave our job, change relationships or routines, although many do, we change how we approach them. By being in the moment, we stop worrying about the future, the past, the maybes and the what-ifs. We stop fast-tracking our world or stalling our growth. We lock into our immediate reality. We see the faces of the people we are interacting with, not just vague outlines impinging on our inner world. We see people, not stress. We interact in a calm and present manner. We slow down. This is not to say we stop working, 
feeding the kids, taking care of business when experiencing quantum awakening. We change how we approach the moment. By switching on our senses, tuning into our world, the energies around us. We begin to examine vibration, how we raise and lower our own and how we respond to others. All of this is spiritual awakening. The ointment, the soothing lotion, is meditation. Healing comes from passions and hobbies, soul tribe, relaxing, laughing, being joyful, awake, connected to the experience of living. It is the opposite of stress, static anxiety tangling and interfering with our energy field and flow. Stress limits our ability to deal rationally and patiently with life. Stress stunts our creative and spiritual growth. To identify and relieve areas of stress in our lives is one of the first steps in awakening, it is self-care. Using mantras to focus intention and remain love-led becomes daily practice. We learn to shield and protect ourselves, to listen to the universe and our guides. We turn up the dial of our mind-body-soul being. This is freedom, it is sovereignty and surrender to 5D universal flow. People will move beyond their political awakening, their religious awakening, their personal awakening, and seek balance in their mind body and soul. We are experiencing activation of our chakra system, triggered by photon blasts of lighter frequencies flooding Gaia. Beings of ascended light embedded deep in our oceans, raise planetary vibrations. The crystalline heart of Gaia fired up, her core pumping waves of light up and out. In the skies, battles of light and dark rage, the cloaks are breaking down as the tipping point gets closer. Gateways, celestial portals of high cosmic wavelengths showing us the way into the light. It is biblical. It is quantum mechanics. It is macro to micro and back again. It is geometry. It is numbers. It is science and it is energy. It's all energy. The big picture of planetary ascension boiled down to the individual's progress from low vibration to high frequency existence. The collective, unified consciousness kicks in when enough people have activated their energy flow. By pushing through the doors of perception, releasing karma, we raise our vibrations to the fifth dimension. This is the process we are knee deep in friends. 2015, 2016 2017, Expose Truths Out There. The Rainbow Children show us the future. Light Warriors of Gaia are here to help us through the healing process. Trust more the energy we feel, relinquish control from our eyes and our ego. Work to quieten the incessant, jabbering, negativity of the ego, begin to hear the heart, the gut, the third eye. Seek out sources of support, healing protection and guidance. Reach out beyond the immediate reality we experience, use cyberspace as a library, a resource, a way of filtering out the fear algorithms of mainstream media. Be mindful and grounded in the present, in your world. Dream of peace, dream of abundance and dream of joy beautiful people. It's all about the vibrations man. Namaste.